When me tell him, say me no eat no fish, no, no meat now. I when me eat them, I wonder when me yam. When me tell him, say that I'm a vegan man. So many have told me that no, everything you show is from the worst scenarios. So I went for the best. Some of you may wonder why I have this stealthy type of uh, act right now. The only reason is that I'm closing on something they call a pig hotel. And my first initial thought was this, uh, this sounds pretty much like a factory farm. So now I'm sneaking around and gonna figure out what this really is. A very definite sign that I'm very close is that it smells methane all over here, although I'm just in the forest. Okay, I am being very careful now. I am very close, but I need to close up this. Definitely something over there. But the camera wants to focus on the trees instead. So over there is on the destroyed fields. Uh, but I can I can fly over here and see what it really looks like. Stealthy as I am, I took off in the forest so that nobody would notice me, and I kept the distance. And look at that cabin that is uh, down on the ground there. I'll show you the size of it. Okay, there you have some perspective of actually how it looks like. So I looked upwards and I see no big factory. Okay, so I look downwards. And downwards and I see nothing that can actually be big enough to be called an hotel. And then I thought like, where is it? And I go up again and there I see the only thing that I can think it is. So I thought like, okay, I know I have some signal problem on the quadcopter, but I have to go in anyways. So I got in closer. And then I started to, to think, I see no pigs. So where are they? Okay, so we're now talking 230 pigs. And then again, where are they? From the news article we see the 13 year old that actually have the pigs in this place where they actually walk wild around uh, having a great time obviously but to me this just looks like uh, old school farming. So this is the area they're supposed to be in, that the destroyed place there. But I see no pigs so I just had to go in closer to have a greater look. On this side of the road I can't tell what would be the pig hotel, but the only thing that looked kind of agriculture-ish, if they have 200 pigs in that, they are crambled. And that is actually how factory farms does it. So uh, when they said pig hotel, I imagined something very big, but I don't see anything like that. Okay, if I push further, I trespass. I so wanted to do it, but I am alone and I walk with a quadcopter on my back, so I'm not risking it. This make me come with some conspiracy theories, like, do the pigs even exist? And have they shut down? What is going on? Are there other farmers that leave their pigs there? If so, they have worse conditions already. And this isn't as good as they say in the commercials that all pigs have it. But even if this was about the same uh, approximately uh, standards that they talk about all the time in those commercials, well, this is just old school farming. The, the, the so-called best alternative for pigs in this country is just looks like old school farming. I'm, I'm sorry, this is just not working. If this is the best conditions, the best conditions are not very good. And uh, it isn't going in this direction. It's getting worse for years and years and years. And factory farms 
will be the only thing that exists. <laughs>